Hi everybody, it's Anita Tadavarthi, your favorite acupuncturist. Today's topic is Sleep 101. With that, let's get started today. I'd like to share a personal story regarding sleep. Over 10 years ago, I had a group of clinics on the West Coast and I was working so much. I was seeing over 100 patients a week and I was also managing a staff God knows, maybe even 30 people on top of seeing 100 patients a week. I was staying up late on my phone, getting up early to go to the clinic and checking on the different locations. I really struggled with sleep. In fact, there was a two week period where I might have only slept five days and I remember I had maybe five days in a row where I didn't sleep at all. At night, I went to wind down and I ended up staring at the wall for hours on end. And I ended up having to actually go into a different bedroom to see if I can sleep. And nonetheless, I stared at the wall in that bedroom. So when patients come to me about their sleep woes, I totally understand. I remember feeling how frustrated that I couldn't even sleep for days on end. And on top of that, how it made my body feel and how sick to my stomach I was and how I couldn't function. So I'm doing my best to share with you some of the things that have helped me on my health journey so I also may help you on yours. With that, let's get started today. I'd like to share with you a five point Accu protocol that you can do to help you with restful sleep. Where I've seen it work really well is to do this protocol using ear seeds a couple of minutes or a couple of hours before bedtime. I've had some patients say to me they really need a cup to do it a couple of hours before bedtime so that their body and mind can unwind to sleep restfully. For me, I just need to do it a couple of minutes before bedtime for me to fall restfully asleep. So play around with it and see when before bedtime you'll need to do this protocol using ear seeds to help you with a good restful sleep. You can also take these ear seeds off in the morning in the shower, or if you don't mind, you can leave them on till they fall off so you may replace them. With the five point protocol, we're gonna get started with two insomnia points. Here we have insomnia point one and insomnia point two. These two points just help to relax the body and relax the mind so that you may have a restful sleep. Now we have the endocrine point. Where I've seen this work really well in the clinic is with women when their estrogen and progesterone levels are lower. This point can specifically balance those, those hormones to help women have a more restful sleep. And then we have the liver meridian. This point addresses the liver point and the liver meridian in Chinese medicine, the liver meridian is known to help with relaxation. If it's not balanced, we often feel angry or agitated or frustrated. So this point helps relax us, helps us keep us calm so we're not as stressed out or as frustrated or as angry. And last but not least is Shen Men, Heavenly Gate. This point literally means calming the mind, bringing peace to the mind. So with this point, we can relax the mind so that the body will follow next so you can have a restful sleep. Be sure to do this consistently till you have a couple of months of restful sleep. Then you don't have to be so vigilant about doing this nightly, but till your body balances itself out so that you may relax on your own, I, for best results, have seen in the clinic and with myself to do this for a couple of months till you get that goal that you desire. With that, I wish you all the best. Thanks for watching today. If you liked what you saw, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We've got some more videos on sleep coming up, so I'd love for you to view them. Also, we're a little TikTok famous, so be sure to check out our self-care techniques on TikTok as well as on Instagram. We've got over 100 posts. And if you want some more personalized attention, this is what you do. You go to the link down below, go to the website. It's the second green button. We have a virtual telehealth. You get a half an hour with me, and I'd love to help you and give you the time you need for your health journey. I hope you take me up on my offer. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.